So I've been trying to solve the titration equation, x to the x to the x power is equal to 2 by using the Lambert W function. But I really don't think it's possible. So I did a video on this with the Newton's method. If you want to check that out, the link will be in the description. But recently, I found out if we have a plus 1 right here, this right here is actually solvable with the Lambert W function. Fun fact, Wolfram Alpha cannot solve it. So let's go ahead and solve it so that we can we'll see what the answer is. Have a look right here. What's so cool about the plus one? Notice this right here is the exponent for the x. So let's focus on that. Let's keep this x as how it is. And then let's use the rule of exponent right here and break this down as x to the x power times x to the first. Yeah? Yes. And then this is equal to two. Now what do we do next? Well, I'm going to Change the color to red here. Likewise, I'll change the color right here to red. And of course, x to the first power is just x, so I'm going to get rid of that. Now what? Use the rule of exponent again. I'm going to put them together and write x to the x power first, and then raise to the x to the x power, and that is equal to 2. Hmm, very interesting. Now, do you recognize that this is actually something that we can solve by using the W function? Yeah, because this and that are the same thing. It's like u to the u is equal to 2. So let's see how we can do it. And let me remind you guys, if you haven't seen the Lambert W function before, here. The idea is that if you have a fish, I call this the alpha fish, times the number e, and if you have the exponent right here, it's the same as that fish right here, then we are ready to take the Lambert W function, and we can get the fish back. So, in order for us to get ready for using the Lambert W function, we must have the e and the exponent and then the front part, they must match. So let's have a look to see how we can do it. First, let's go ahead and just take the natural log on both sides. This way, we can put the x to the x to the front, and we will see we will have the x to the x times that part, which is just ln of x to the x. And that is equal to ln2. Now, let's see. We really want to have a fish, so what can we do? Well, notice that we have ln right here already, and this part right here does not have the ln. Let's utilize the ln and call the e. Check this out. We can write x to x as e and ln cancel. So we can put that down. And then just put the x to the x inside. So this part is the same as that. Perfect. And then, of course, we still have ln of x to the x. So just write that down. You see, this fish and that fish are the same now. And we also have the number e. Of course, the right-hand side, we still have that nice ln too. Now we're ready. Three markers. Go ahead, take the Lambert W function. Take the Lambert W function. On the left-hand side, we get what? Just that back. Just one of the ln of x to the x, and that is equal to the Lambert W function of ln2, just like that. Hey, what can we do right here? Once again, we can put the x to the front, and then this right here will give us x in the front times ln x equals the Lambert W function of ln2. Hmm, similar, right? Let's just go ahead, look at this x right here, and let's write this as e to the ln x power, and let's maintain this ln x. And that is equal to the Lambert W function of ln2. Once again, we are ready to go. Take the Lambert W function here, and also take the Lambert W function here. On the left hand side, we just have ln x. And on the right hand side, we have the Lambert W function of the Lambert W function of ln2. Lastly, just do e to the power, e to the power, cancel out very nicely. x equals e to the Lambert W function of the Lambert W function of ln2. Just like that. And in fact, for this equation, we only have one real solution. And if you enter this on Wolfram Alpha, it will give you that real answer. By the way, I want to show you guys what's extremely cool about this right here. Huh? You see, this is the input, right? Input, input, and then e to the whatever. The idea of the Lambert W function 
is the inverse of a fish e to the fish. Yeah? So in fact, this is another way that you can get the fish back. Ready? If you have the Lambert W function of the fish times e to the Lambert W function of the fish. Right? It's kind of like you put the Lambert W function into the fish like that. You will also get the fish back. So what do I do with this? Check this out. I'm going to just divide this part on both sides. So I'll just put on a little note right here for you guys. Note, e to the Lambert W function of the fish is equal to the fish divided by the Lambert W function of, of the fish, like this. Why is the why is that no be happy? Here we go. Why am I doing this? Not just because it's cool, but check this out, it's super cool. Look, we have e to the Lambert W function. This right here is the fish. Yeah? So if you have to write a answer in a super cool form, we can do the following. X equals that blue part is the fish that goes to the top first. So we have Lambert W function of Ln2. Yeah? Over, you see here on the bottom we have one Lambert W function, so go ahead and put that down. And then we have um, the fish, right? this fish, which is that. So it's the Lambert W function of the Lambert W function of Ln2, like this. I think this is like the coolest answer of an equation I've ever seen before. Yes!